everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs and the Binding of Isaac. This one is gonna be pretty goddamn crazy slash stupid and maybe impossible, but it's suggested by YouTube user Vener Venergon? I think it was Venergon. Anyway, uh, the name of the run is AI Madness. So we have basically every item in the game that is AI controlled and does damage to enemies. So we have, just on the top of my head, the Peeper, two level four meat boys, uh, Demon Baby, I have Dead Bird, I also have Infestation, which means when I get hit, flies will come out, as well as the Dead Bird, of course. Uh, and I have Monstro's Tooth, and there's Daddy Long Legs, you can maybe see the shadow moving along around us. So basically, uh, I'm not allowed to use any tiers on this run, all uh, of our item rooms, shops, etc, etc, are possibilities. However, I'm not allowed to use tiers in any way, shape, or form. So I basically have to rely on A, my dodging, and B, the strength of the AI to actually help me through this one. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. I'm not sure if it's going to take 10 minutes or 30 years because we are starting with some very strong uh, AI candidates here. However, or companions I should say, not candidates. It's not like this is the political machine 2012. However, uh, they are also dumb. They're AI controlled, but they tend to be kind of stupid. And also my dodging doesn't tend to be the greatest. So we might run into problems. I don't know. I'm going to be looking for sure to stack up HP upgrades and possibly uh, maybe get like the ability to fly and fly over rooms. Of course, the one exception to the no tears rule is if I have to use tears to kill an enemy, like if an enemy's across a, a chasm or something like that, uh, then I will absolutely use tears to, to take him out. But otherwise, uh, we are going to stick to everything by the book, essentially, within the spirit of the challenge run as dictated. Now, the Meat Boys, the things I'm really worried about is things like uh, Meat Boy going for like neutral flies as opposed to actually helping me out by attacking... Either the poop that will free the neutral flies, or the actual boss at hand, or the, the enemies at hand in the room. That's gonna happen from time to time, there is our rotten meat. We are gonna look around for keys in this level to go to the item rooms for sure. First things first though, we gotta defeat the blighted ovum. That is something that is not gonna take very long with Daddy Long Legs. Who should be coming down any second now to lay down the pain train, there we go. Uh, Cat of Nine Tails and a deal with the devil, maybe we can get Spirit of the Night here and just start off on the right foot. Nope, two guppy items, which is tempting, believe me. Uh, but we're actually going to skip out of here and try to find some keys that I can use to go to those item rooms. We did get Cat of Nine Tails as well. Obviously, that's worthless on our current run because it contains, um, or it, it only affects our tears. I don't know what happened there to cause us to get hit and also kill an enemy, but I'll take it, I guess. There is some health for us to replenish a little bit later. By the way, the other rule, I guess, this is not explicitly stated, but I think it's pretty obvious that I shouldn't be allowed to get rid of Monstro's Tooth unless I'm getting rid of it in favor of another AI-controlled item, which I can't really think of at this point. So I'll probably just stick with Monstro's Tooth. I'm not sure when I'm going to use it, probably on more difficult boss fights. I didn't really have any need to do it uh, on the uh, earlier boss fights we had because they were just so simple. Also, uh, I will use t uh, tears to shoot poop once a room is completely cleared out. I'm just not going to use tears to do damage to an enemy unless it's absolutely 100% necessary. And I don't mean necessary in that it would help, I mean necessary in that like there's no way for my a AI to get over there. Or, you know, Peeper's eye would just take 100 years to actually do it himself, so. Uh, we do have some bombs here, I kind of don't want to use them yet. So I want this, yes, that's basically what I wanted, so I can't really complain. Uh, I didn't have to use a bomb to get the Tinted Rock, and we do have one key now, so we can go to one item room. Which might as well be this one, I guess, because it's closer. So why don't we do that? And we get uh, Luck Foot, which is actually an okay item, I think, for us to get in this situation. Sadly, we are going to have to abandon the other item room. The exception to this might be if I go down here and the secret room happens to be like right next to it or adjacent to it, uh, I should be able to go to the item room as well without using a key. It's kind of unlikely though, but for a one bomb risk, I think it's worth it. So Meat Boy's back up, please. No, sadly. I held out a lot of hope that that was going to work. Which I should probably know better given my time in Isaac so far, but so far so good. First floor gave us an HP upgrade, a useless cat of nine tails, and a luck foot, which may or may not uh, be beneficial as we move forwards. In the meantime, though, we're gonna head down to the next floor, and I guess hope that this just proceeds. Uh, I'm not sure what other items, I guess like only stat items are really gonna give us much benefit. I mean, I could get familiars, but the familiars give us absolutely no benefit because they don't fire, well, with the exception of Demon Baby, which we already have. Uh, they won't fire unless I'm also firing, so we're picking up another spirit heart here. So I don't know, we'll see. What does this pill do? Health up, that's a beautiful upgrade. So basically that's like getting a free boss item just randomly. And we are on Caves XL, so we are going to need a lot of keys to go to the item rooms on this floor as well. So just getting those stat upgrades just in case we don't get the opportunity to get 
any more keys is definitely worthwhile in my books. Now, if we find the boss right away, we might uh, fight him. And I might as well use Monstrous Tooth, I guess. Get in the habit of doing so. Uh, although I haven't really found that much need so far because we are already taking out enemies very, very quickly. A lot of people are probably thinking this run is going to be overpowered. I can't necessarily say I disagree with you, but what I would encourage you to do is just watch for a little while. Uh, because things are going to possibly change as we get further and further into the game. Deal with not only more difficult enemies that have a lot more health and more, you know, confusing patterns for the AI to deal with, uh, but at levels with more confusing layouts as well that are going to confuse the shit out of Meat Boy, and indeed situations like this where it's going to be nearly impossible for me to get to uh, close enough to the enemies for Meat Boy's actual, like, sense of them to proc and allow him to do damage. But Daddy Long Legs will always be there. Uh, to do long-term damage for me, provided that there's no, uh, or that the enemy doesn't move around all that much, because Daddy Longlegs is kind of stupid with respect to that. But I really like this run, uh, it's got a nice synergy with respect to the items. Any run where I get Demon Baby is good in my books, it's one of my favorite familiars, and it doesn't show up nearly often enough. Uh, although it does show up in Deals with the Devil all the time, I have a tendency not to take it because there are better Deals with the Devil. It's one of those items that unfortunately gets overshadowed by other great items. So we're gonna have Pestilence first. We will absolute- oh my god, he just fired like four bombs at once. I don't know what's up with that, but uh, I guess we'll pick up Cuba Meat if we can. See what it does. Uh, nothing, which is kind of what I expected given that we already have uh, technically eight cubes of meat. So we will use Monstro's Tooth here, that did some damage. Uh, if we could just get our second Meat Boy in there to kind of go at him, that would be great too. Daddy Long Legs. Daddy Long Legs might only come down once against bosses, which is actually a serious pain in the ass, especially on the later boss fights, because he's our main way of doing damage. But we get Squeezy, which is a tiers upgrade. Mostly we just want it for the two Spirit Hearts. And another deal with the Devil, which gives us nothing we can take, sadly, because we need to hold on to Monstrous Tooth. So for now, I recommend we just look for these item rooms, hope that we get some more stat upgrades, and continue onwards. Those two Spirit Hearts that we got from, um, what's his name? Uh, Squeezy are gonna be worthwhile. I'm okay with those as well. Daddy Long Legs, thank you. But, uh, I definitely would have preferred some more, not just like stat upgrades, but health upgrades specifically. There's no point in saying, saying stat upgrades when I don't really want tears up or range up. All I really want is, is speed up and health up. Speed up could be more valuable, but I only need like one or two of those max. Health upgrades I would stack until the cows come home. Okay, so this turret is going to be very difficult to kill. We do have a Judgment, which is great, because otherwise the shop is not going to be too worthwhile for us. So we're going to wait for this guy to get out of his weird state here. Daddy Long Legs, maybe? This might be a good opportunity for me to use Tears, actually. Just to speed things along. Again, not trying to be counter to the idea of the challenge run here, but uh, let's use Judgment. I'm going to play him and hopefully get some extra cash. Not extra cash, extra health. The cash is meaningless. That's why I'm not going to the shop right now. Uh, there's a tarot card, which is the world. Okay, we can find the secret room that way, which might be good in case we need more money. I can't even see what's going on here because goddamn Meat Boy keeps getting in my way. So we're just gonna keep rolling around in a circle. This is circular donations. Some kind of tax loophole. Uh, more red hearts that we could use at the blood bank, which... Is, was there one on this level? I thought there was. We're out of money now. But we also got a map at the very end, so we don't need to use the world card to find the secret room. Uh, I don't really want to open that either. I want to look for the item rooms instead. And this is proving to be a surprisingly long floor. Uh, let's use the world card. I hated to do it, but this will at least save us some time uh, as we move over to the left here uh, in finding our item rooms. This is a surprisingly big floor. It wasn't a demon, or it wasn't a blood bank, it was a demon judgment that was available. And my hand prepped on the uh, arrow keys there. Would have been a terrible mistake on my part. Uh, Daddy Longlegs can just take out all these enemies, I suppose. And we will just sit here and let it happen. We could use tears, we could justify it here, but there's really no point either way. For better or for worse. So we'll just instead do things by the book. Let Meat Boy and Demon Baby and Daddy Longlegs take care of these guys. We'll take the Ace of Spades, which I believe gives us more bicycle cards, which is fantastic. I don't want any more deals with the devil. I would love deals with the angel, though. Uh, to maybe get like a free Holy Grail or something like that. Watch, it's gonna be on one of these challenge runs where we get Sacred Tears, but it ends up being totally worthless for us because we, we can't fire our tears anyway. These No Tears runs are eventually gonna be the death of me, but they're also a lot of fun in their own right. Definitely switches up the way you play the game. So we get uh, Speed plus Damage. Normally I really like that Syringe, now it's a little bit worse because it's effectively just a Speed upgrade. Unless Demon Baby also gets the Tears upgrades we get, but I don't think he does. 
So, I don't know. Could potentially be good. Could potentially be... Well, it's it's good. Just as a speed upgrade, it's okay. But uh, it's not as good as it has been in the past for us, I guess. So, we are going to take this. We could, again, go to the blood bank, but it's not necessary. Holy water is a shit item, but at least it's a shit item we can use as opposed to, you know, a great item we can't pick up because it would go against the spirit of the run. So, I guess we are going to make our way... We could go to the secret room, but again, like, Epic Fetus doesn't really mean too much to me. I guess the only thing I would want is money or the one-up. But we might as well go to it while we're here. We have eight bombs. That's enough to justify it. Make sure Peeper's Eye doesn't knock it out of the equation or anything. The Onk, that's basically the one-up, so what can I say? I have kind of a sixth sense for that sort of thing. And we will uh, go down to the boss room. I'm just going to take a sip of water make sure I keep myself hydrated as we go. You know what? We might as well play Demon Judgment a couple of times here, because we have some health that we can get on our way. So I'm thinking we have about four plays, maybe? Well, okay. It was fun while it lasted, Demon Judgment. Thanks a lot. Uh, we'll take some health here. We'll take some health in this room to our right. Which is actually more health than I expected. Which means we've got at least one more play of Demon Judgment. I'm holding out hope that he's going to give me um, Spirit of the Night here. It's incredibly unlikely, but it's a possibility, I guess. Nope, nothing there. So we'll see what we have in our boss room. Even if it's more than one half heart, I don't see myself backtracking too much. Well, it's one heart. So we are just going to go down to the next floor. So far, so good. I still think we're going to be fine against... Uh, I mean, the mom boss fight is going to be a little difficult because... Uh, we have to actually choose which... No, that's just going to hit the bomb out of the way. We should just go. Um, we, we can't choose which enemies to focus on. Like, the AI is probably just going to spend a lot of time focusing on things that don't actually represent a threat to us. Like they're doing right now with this uh, blue spike here. Well, I mean, the blue spike represents a threat, but it's an unkillable threat, so it's not really that good in the whole scheme of things. This is just a room where A, I really wish we'd gotten the ability to fly earlier, and B, we're gonna have to focus on our pretty, quite frankly, pretty terrible dodging ability, and then just wait for Daddy Longlegs to wi wisen up and actually hit some of the hearts, please. Any second now, why are you going for. The goddamned masks. Okay, we killed two. But the Mii Boys, again, just continue to focus on the masks. If we fight Mask of Infamy, we're probably going to find ourselves in an awful situation. I'm using bombs here. Uh, the rules, no tears. Anything to give ourselves an increased chance of survival there. Because that was really, really bad. We lost, like, two Spirit Hearts and a Red Heart there. And we're not even on the womb, so that represents getting hit, like, six times. That was just my own personal fault there. Uh, but now I'm spooked. Because I worry that things are going to get better before they get worse. There's our boss room, so we are going to fight the boss right away. I maybe should have used Monstrous Tooth on that last room that did so much damage to me. But I don't think it was 100% necessary. Two of spades? I was really hoping that was two of hearts. But hey, I can't complain about extra keys, can I? Ah, perfect! It's Mask of Infamy. <laughs> exactly what I did not want. Look at this. They're like actively going out of their way to focus on the wrong elements here. So I can... Monstro's Tooth, I assume, is going to do the same thing and go for the wrong enemy, but let's try it. Oh, it worked! Beautiful. It didn't do enough damage, but it did some damage. Come on, switch, Meat Boys. Uh, I'm going to place some bombs here. Oh, there we go. One Meat Boy has gotten the idea. No! You had it! There we go! You were so close! You were the chosen one! Okay, there we go. Now the Meat Boys are actually going to be very useful, provided they can actually catch up to it. Again, stop using tears, Isaac. Not cool, buddy. Like, they should be able to do a lot of damage. This guy shouldn't last too much. Yeah, he's dead already. We get a range upgrade for our troubles. That was a tough floor so far. This is a tough floor so far, I guess I should say. Uh, and we didn't really get ample compensation for our efforts. That is basically Isaac in a nutshell, though. No, this is Isaac in a nutshell. Help out it all get into this bloody big nutshell. I did, etc., etc. Okay, we're gonna stand here. We're gonna pick up our chest. Which contains a lot of bombs. That was worth it. Oh, that was close. Uh, but I really, really, really need some hearts now. Not HP upgrades. I just need, like, straight up old school dollar store style red hearts that normally I complain about getting too many of. So our tarot card is death. That is worthwhile. We'll use it on this room just to speed things up. Monstrous Tooth is now available for use. But we shouldn't have to use it. I have the feeling that this room is uh, one of the easiest ones for us to possibly have at this point. Now, if these Meat Boys could kick this bomb... I'm probably going to hurt myself trying to make them kick the bomb, so I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. We're going to use Monstro's Tooth. 
That actually worked out very well for us. Don't really need to get that bomb there. Uh, now I wish we'd saved a Monstro's Tooth, because we're probably going to run into similar problems that we have a lot of the time in this room. Although, this Meat Boy is... It's, he's becoming sentient. He's getting the right idea. There we go. Just chew it up. And that will mark the end of this room. And basically the end of this floor. We got 10 extra bombs. That's good news. Uh, we could go to the shop, but I don't really want to. We'll look for the secret room. I have to remember that I do have the Ankh, so I basically do have a 1-up here as well. If I die, it's not the absolute end of the world. Certainly not something that I want to encourage myself to do, but... Have I not... Did I go to the secret room? It's been available on our map. I find it hard to believe that I would just pass it up on the way to the boss room. Well, maybe not that hard to believe. Uh, let's look for a bomb. No, there's no... I don't think I went to the secret room. So, you know, we could find money in here that maybe is going to be valuable in the shop, which we could actually use to just buy red hearts on this floor. Uh, but I think we're just going to be safe enough to go down to the next floor and we'll, we'll survive. Beat Mom, get the Polaroid, uh, then try things out in the womb. We should probably try to get the... Oh man, this is a big floor, and it's Necropolis, unfortunately. We should probably try to get a compass or something to speed things up. We got another one up as well, so we basically have three lives at this point. That doesn't make me feel as safe as maybe it should, but certainly I am glad for that nonetheless. We're going to be using Monstrous Tooth way more frequently now, just to speed up these rooms a little bit. Uh, it charges once every three rooms, so there's really no reason for me not to use it as often as I can. This may or may not be our boss. That was terrible. I really shouldn't have been hit there. Uh, that really shouldn't have been hit there either. Seriously, me boys, come over to this side of the map. The water's fine. Can't go into the deep end without mommy's permission or something. Here you go. Latch on to what... Really, you're just not going to move at all? Same with Dead Bird. Only Keeper's Eye is really doing the business for me here. Getting a little low on health. And by a little, I mean actually very low on health, especially considering a lot of these enemies do uh, a ton of damage. We're taking Harlequin Baby, even though it's worthless. Does Demon Baby, is it just permanently become Brother Bobby now? That would explain one reason why we're doing a little bit worse than we have been. Uh, for whatever reason, Demon Baby has just chosen to become Brother Bobby. And since we are not shooting, uh, then that means Brother Bobby is not shooting, which means he is not doing any damage. So like Harlequin Baby, he is basically just a waste of flesh at this point. So there's our shop. The shop is very valuable for us. We're going to drop Monstro's Tooth on that red spike, which is going to do a ton of damage. Also, Monstro himself. I can use tears on this room. I think that's justifiable, considering the Meat Boys are just hanging out in the corner. Um, Monstro's Tooth actually died on the blue spike, which is crazy. Okay, so we've got a pill here. A shop, which is more important. A uh, pill in the shop, which is health up. Okay, that's potentially good. It's not as good as I hoped it would be. I, I hoped it would just be... Like a shop full of red hearts. Uh, that health upgrade could be very useful. It could be more useful than uh, red heart upgrades. Or just like red heart consumables, I should say. Could also be substantially less useful if I end up just dying before I get a chance to actually fill that container. But, you know, it's the thought that counts. The game's being pretty good to us right now. With the exception of a lot of these terrible rooms and the terrible AI that I have to deal with. Well, we broke even on this room. Which is something. Not as good as I would have hoped, but... At least got something going on here. Infestation is kind of being an unsung hero right now. The red flies as, that I'm producing as a result of being hit constantly are actually helping me out fairly well. Got hit again. Meat Boy is choosing to just ignore the situation down here, which I don't like. Oh, ah, and we're dead! But we have one up, which actually caused us to have more HP? No, maybe this is the same amount that we had earlier. It just seems like more. Seriously, just come down here and... Why won't you shoot these guys? We'll just put a bomb there. I have expected Meat Boy to just kick it out. Why am I trying to pick up a live bomb? I have expected Meat Boy to just kick it away. So we're just going to move over here. So the one up is gone. We do still have the Onk. But really, I'm starting to feel skeptical about my chances here. Now, we're just going to, again, stay over here. It sucks the Demon Baby's gone. He was like my major protection against flies. Uh, and other enemies that got very close to us. So we're going to fight Mom right now. We might as well. We've already gone to everything else on this floor of value. Uh, I don't know how quickly we're going to be able to do damage to Mom here. Because, uh, by and large, I think the AI is going to have some serious targeting problems. But we're going to do our damnedest here to make this work for us. It's going very, very slowly. I'm going to wait for the foot to come down. Then I'm going to use Monstro's Tooth. Didn't work as... Oh, it did work really well, actually. That did, like, more damage than anything else we've done so far. My bad. Oh, Demon Baby's back. 
from his extended vacation in Cabo San Lucas, I guess. We're just hanging out. Meepo is being good protection at the very least. Uh, Dead Bird is doing its business. Occasionally, the extremities are being hit by Peeper's Eye. Everyone's doing their part. Their incredibly small part towards making this a minor success. <laughs> well, without firing tears, we are at least going to beat the uh, first final boss of the game. Although there are, of course, you know, four more now. Three more now that we are going to have to deal with. So I'm expecting this might be the last. Yes, it was indeed. We get an HP upgrade. We get uh, the Polaroid. We get a little bit of health. And we're going down to the next floor with not very much hope in our hearts, especially now with Curse of Darkness, which means even our map is unusable, unfortunately. But there's always a chance, you know, some of these rooms uh, may potentially be very well suited for AI. The bosses in Utero and the Womb tend to be fairly easy, with a couple of notable exceptions. Uh, I'm not sure if we can run into the bloat here, but either way, I mean, we're, we're still alive at this point, so I can't really complain about that. I'm not going to use Monstro's Tooth, that was bad. I'm not going to use Monstro's Tooth on this room, because this room should be easy enough for me to beat without it. Despite the fact that I said that after I took a bunch of damage. Uh, I used Monstro's Tooth on this room, just to get those Guts guys out of there. Again, I guess uh, Demon Baby has just become Brother Bobby again. Not quite sure what's up with that. Normally, part of my strategy was like getting close to people with Demon Baby, because it did so much damage. But that's obviously going to have to change, as it apparently only works on maybe the mom boss fight now, or random rooms. My favorite Silver Jews song. Uh, we're going to continue, I guess, upwards. Have we not been there yet? Correct, we have not been there yet. This room is going to be a pain in the ass. Let's just hope our Meat Boys are fast enough to catch those. Wow. Maybe it's not going to be a pain in the ass. That actually went really well. Uh, we'll just avoid being hit here. It only takes like two passes through a Meat Boy for these things to be killed. So, yeah, that was easy enough. Do have a Monstrous Tooth, which could be valuable in this room. Did something, at least. And now we have to kill the vaginal silk. Oh, come on! You killed him like a split second after I needed you to. Well, we lost our spirit heart, but that's okay. The spiders could potentially be killed by the green bombs. They were not, unfortunately. Uh, we're just going to hang out in the corner here and let our AI do the business for us. That is Demon Judgment, who is tempting, but not so tempting because I'm missing a lot of red hearts right now. Or enough. If I played Demon Judgment, I would absolutely be missing a lot of red hearts. Thanks for the protection there, Meat Boy. Stand-up guy just oscillating back and forth between... Oh, I didn't even realize that creep was live. That's totally my bad. Luckily, we still have the Ankh. <laughs> We're gonna be fighting Conquest here. It's probably one of the worst enemies that we could be fighting at this point in the game. Drop Monster's Tooth on him. That's decent damage. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad, because he's relatively... He stands in a pretty consistent spot, except when he does that move where he... Oh, that's not good. Uh, the move where he sends, like, 15 assholes all out to hit us. Uh, but I think we're going to be okay on this fight. We're definitely going to be okay if we fight him again with the Ankh. Daddy Longlegs doing crazy damage. Meat Boy's doing their part occasionally. Dead Bird just hanging out right beside me for some reason. Oh, come on. Don't do me like that, Conquest. He's dead. He's dead indeed. Uh, a little bit of extra health again. Uh, but we can't take the White Pony, so it's down to the next floor. Again, some extra hydration for me. This is not going well. Let's not mince words. Uh, I don't anticipate much success awaiting us in our future. If we could beat Mom's heart, I would consider that pretty damn good. Uh, and I guess there's the chance that we could beat the Cathedral as well if we just like hide in the corner and focus 100% on dodging. But Daddy Longlegs is only going to hit once on uh, Isaac. Well, that's a ton of money. Uh, Daddy Longlegs is only going to hit once on Isaac, which is really bad. And I worry about the targeting systems for, like, the other Meat Boys and Dead Bird, which have a tendency to disappoint me to no end. We are getting back to nearly full health here. Sadly, we are reaching a dead end as well with respect to, uh... Oh, there's an Eternal Heart. Probably not going to make that last, but, you know, it's a nice thought. Uh, yeah, like, our other AI systems have a tendency to disappoint us relentlessly, so this is... I'm skeptical that we're going to beat this, is, is my thinking right now. But my basic sentiment is that we don't stand too much of a chance. But stranger things have happened, I suppose. We're just gonna kinda hang out in the... No, oh, that didn't really work. There goes our eternal heart. I was hoping that eternal heart was gonna save us. Sadly, no. Okay, so this is a golden chest. We are gonna use a bomb to get to it, because who knows, maybe an HP upgrade would be exactly what we need right now to save our life. Or, you know, an extra key and a bomb. I guess that could come in handy on the chest. 
once we inevitably get there, just joking, we're gonna get totally butt-fucked. Uh, yeah, why not use Monstrous Tooth, kill another one of these guys, Meat Boy, chew him up. Well, that didn't work as well as I thought. There we go. So I've reached every single dead end available on the level, basically. We're gonna go up and to the right this time, which... If this doesn't provide us with our exit, we have a serious problem. We are trapped in, uh, the Navidson house from House of Leaves. Damn you, game designer. Special thanks to Mark Z, Daniel Lewski. Uh, please just kill Wrath. Any, there we go. Four bombs? I mean, we do have enough bombs to at least contribute well to the Mom's Heart boss fight. I kind of worry about killing ourselves. I'm going to open these. I don't care that I need the keys for the chest. Um, I'm kind of worried about killing ourselves with those bombs, because the AI has a tendency to kick them back at us. Uh, and that worries me a great deal. Come on, Daddy Longlegs. We you put it in you. And that should be an easy get there. Uh, we're going to continue onwards here. And this is going to be a very easy room, provided I dodge the lasers, which I am apparently physically incapable of. Here comes the Mom's Heart boss fight. I anticipate both terrible success and uplifting failure. I'm not sure what I meant by that, either of those. We're going to drop Monstro's Tooth on them instead of a bomb. That does a lot of damage. I don't know why I just walked into her there. The Meat Boys should stay relatively consistently in the middle. So the bombs are just going to be there to do some extra damage. I don't even know what this pill does. You guys just keep trucking along here. I use bad gas. I fired a tear by accident. That's my bad. I, I totally forgot. I... Interrupted my thought patterns here. Daddy Long Legs is not working anymore. We do have Demon Baby. Oh, come on. The greatest bomb firing of all time. Not just a tribute. Well, Mom's heart is dead. Amazingly, I think it's up to the cathedral for us. I, again, don't anticipate too much positivity happening here. But we do have the Onk, so maybe we have a chance. Although, I greatly doubt it. The only thing that could give us a chance, getting full HP by the Isaac boss fight, pretty unlikely. Uh, we got the Unicorn Horn, which we cannot use. Gonna check quickly over to the left, just in the off chance that this is the boss room. Finding the boss room so quickly would be both a blessing and a curse. Because we would A, not have to explore so much, which is good because that would take less damage, but B, we'd have less opportunity to get more red hearts. Which is, uh, also probably gonna damn us here. Luckily, we don't have to worry about it because the boss room is not there. We'll try directly straight upwards from us to see if maybe that's the location. It is not, but this is an easy room to deal with. Then we pick up a key as a result, so that's fine by me. Uh, let's go check the top right now. Green should be a very easy fight for us by this point in the game, provided I can actually get the meat boys to attach to him. Thank you. And again, such a piss off that, uh... Oh, that could be like two of hearts or something. It is. Okay, we have a chance, maybe. Uh, such a piss off that Daddy Longlegs only works once against those uh, final tier bosses. That's bad damage on my part, but uh, certainly vindication for using the two of hearts card before I uh, would have gotten full health from it, if that makes any sense at all. Then you've been paying very close attention to this run, perhaps even closer attention than I. But anyway, Fistula! Easy boss fight in this situation, because basically touching Meat Boy is a death sentence for each one of those things. The Stars is an interesting card that may or may not hold any worth at all right now. Uh, Monstro's Tooth is tempting to use, but I want to save it for the Isaac boss fight, of course. Uh, and we might be coming up to the Isaac boss fight. Surprisingly, we're not dead yet. We may actually have a chance. I somewhat doubt it, but uh, stranger things have happened. Wheel of Fortune is totally worthless for us. We are back to full health, amazingly. Uh, and this is not our Isaac boss fight, but it is... Some extra health that maybe I could use a little bit later. Why not use the Stars card now, then? Uh, which is basically taking us back to our spawn. I don't think it saved us any backtracking at all, to be honest with you. Actually, you know what we can do? It did interrupt my thought patterns, which is great, because it's put me in a position here where I realize we can skip, like, four rooms. And considering I have full health already, that is probably in our best interest. So we'll just ignore the Unicorn Horn. Me, boy. Got a great kick on that guy, don't they? Uh, and then coming over this way, should be able to, yeah, just drop into this Gertie Jr. room and basically skip a bunch of rooms ourselves. Now, I'm just gonna move around as fast as possible, basically, to try to keep Gertie Jr. on her toes. Oh, she still managed to hit me. Goddamn, Gertie Jr., I hate you so much. Why are you so much more AI incredible than the, the rest of the, like, positive familiars in this game? Blows my mind. Uh, we need some more health now. But there is our boss room, and it's just the Wicked here, the Widow, I always forget. So it shouldn't be 
too difficult. More health drops would be fantastic. Hey, we got one. You know what? I'll, oh, we got two, actually. I'll definitely take it. Now, Isaac boss fight. Very interesting. Did a little bit of damage. Now, get the Meat Boys just permanently attached. Then I will just hang out in the corner here. Fire as much as you want. Peeper's Eye is going to be a big, reliable source of damage here. Uh, I kind of want to drop some bombs in as well. I wonder if I can actually be hit here. It seems like I'm basically 100% safe if I just stand in the corner. If so, this might actually give us renewed chances of hope on all of the, uh, like, the Isaac, or sorry, the Blue Baby boss fight as well. I can just, oh, no, never mind. I'm not completely safe. I got ahead of myself a little bit. But certainly safer than normal. So we're just going to rock walk around here and do some uh, bomb damage as well. What about this corner up here? Maybe this corner is even safer. We do have the Ankh as well. This is, this is remarkable. If I just get a little bit closer, Demon Baby can actually hit. Which is very useful. Uh, we're going to win this fight. And much, much, much easier than I initially anticipated. Which is always a boon. Beautiful. Isaac is dead. And we still have the Ankh to use. Sadly, we only have three keys because I'm an idiot and used one of them to open a golden chest for no reason. $3 bill. Useless. Miter. Very useful. Potentially. Uh, and Book of Sin, which we will use once to get a single penny. Then we'll get Monster Rose Tooth, and we'll obviously come back uh, for these items later. I mean, the uh, getting $3 bill is absolutely worthless for us, but the other items could potentially be incredibly valuable. So we're basically just going to hang out in the middle here, do circles whenever necessary. Daddy Long Legs is going to basically be our main damage dealer, because the Meat Boys are absolutely idiotic when it comes to dealing damage to real enemies. These are not boss rooms, these are chubs, but we can basically kill them with bombs because we have so many, and we'll still have a ton left over to use against uh, Blue Baby. But really, I'm just hoping for Red Hearts here, or some kind of full health pill, or, you know, Lover's Tarot card, Two of Hearts, Bicycle card, anything along these lines would be uh, very good for me right now. Thank you, Daddy Long Legs. Spirit Heart is fine too, I'll take that. Still no key, but I really did not expect to actually be alive by this point of the game. I, I should have known. Uh, I was fairly confident that we would just die very quickly. We might still, I mean, we might not beat the chest. We're definitely going to be using the Ankh in a second. Hopefully not on this room. Again, the longer I can go without using the Ankh, the better it is for me. There's another key, which we will use on the chest. Turn this ship around. Uh, we'll take whatever one pill is, and then take Monster's Tooth again. I don't think it's full health. Could be, though. Oh my god, it was. Okay. <laughs> Somebody out there really likes us right now and, and wants us to succeed. And to lose at this point would just be to fly in the face of all the incredible luck that I've gotten so far. I was thinking maybe Balls of Steel. No way is it going to be full health, though. And it was. Imagine that. Hopefully more red... Oh, another Spirit Heart. That's basically the same as a Red Heart drop functionally at this point in the game. When we don't have any long-term repercussions for our actions, positive or negative. So these guys are just going to chew on Wrath. It's going to take them a little while. Super Wrath, I guess. It's going to take them a little while to get each one whittled down, uh, but that is okay. I guess they were all focusing on the same one. Daddy Long Legs, please, just knock one of them out of their misery for me, please. There we go, come on, meat boys, you can do it. Any second now. There we go. Okay, so two extra bombs. <clears throat> Probably not that important for me in the long run, but the ability to get to the secret room, uh, where we'll get some money, which is basically worthless, but then... Come over here where the boss room might just be... Oh, come on, Peeper's Eye. Work with me here. Uh, get over here where the boss room might be directly adjacent to us, and indeed it is. Uh, we could be in a beautiful position right now. I was trying to get out of the way of war there, believe you me. Uh, but it just proved to be impossible. So I'm hoping for some red heart drops here. Obviously. Uh, I would much rather beat Blue Baby on the first attempt here than the second. Just hit it. Demon Baby is the only saving grace here. The only thing actually doing damage to the enemy. I wonder if there's like a creative way I could dodge like that. To just constantly send Ward down uh, the path that Meat Boy is on. Like just constantly spin in a circle. And then, yeah, there we go. It actually worked. Surprisingly. Okay. Here we go. Blue Baby boss fight. Hide in the corner. Oh man, we got hit immediately. Twice. Did that bomb get hit back towards me? 
Looks like we're probably going to be making an attempt to do this on the Onk run, but I'm still going to give this the old college try. I did use a tier, but that was just to shoot the bomb in there, but still, that was probably verboten. I apologize for that. Basically, just spinning around in a circle here. Can't hit what you can't see, Blue Baby. And amazingly, this is sort of working for me. Blue Baby's down to about 50%. And ever dropping, although we are lower now. Just drop the bomb in there. Come on, meat boys. Make this so I don't have to take it down to the wire, please. That was very close. Demon Baby's doing some good damage. I hate this part because you've got to be very, very cautious. Oh, that was so close. Okay, Onk's going to proc. We're going to have three spirit arts with which to do our worst. It's a blue baby here. Oh, and that's a bad start for sure. Warm it with bombs. Oh, and we are probably going to die here, but we got so close! And we're just going to hang out in the corner here, and I will move whenever the shots come in. Oh, never mind. Apparently we just got hit by a random curve shot there, but in any case, that run was a lot of fun. And I did not expect, in any case, that we would make it to Blue Baby, but hey, we made it! In any case, continue suggesting your challenge runs! in the comments and I will do the ones that be most entertaining, popular, or appropriate. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.